Hi, welcome to Sydney Stone. I'm Brendan Wright. Today we're going to be doing a run through of how to set up the Nearline Power Square with the high capacity sheet feeder and the innovative Power Square booklet maker. We're going to be doing two applications. We're going to run an 8.5-11 .5 with uh, self cover, so 25 flat sheets we'll utilize. Then we're going to do an 1117, which is going to have a cover stock and the guts of your book. We're probably going to do about five flat sheets for that. So now we're going to run through the whole setup process start to finish. So first we're going to set up the Power Square sheet feeder interface. So it's an innovative touch screen setup, very simple to use. So we're going to select our icon PSF, which is the Power Square sheet feeder. This is our setup for our sheet size. Uh, what we're going to do is a self cover, uh, 20 pound bond, 8 and a half, 11, and we're going to use the high capacity feeder. So we've selected, we've got our high pile uh, uh, feeder set or selected. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to tell it that we're going to be doing an 11 inch length, which we've already put in, and we'll do 8.5. It's already put in as well. And finally, we're going to put on our thickness. So it needs to know its GSM rating, and on a 20 pound bond, it's a 75 GSM. So we're good to go. The next setup, we have to select our icon here. We need to tell the sheet feeder how many sheets it's going to be pulling. Right now, it's set to 15. So if we want to change this to 25, we select yes, and we've already have our setting for the high pile, and then finally the drawer, which we're not going to be utilizing in this application. Once we have that number input, we'll hit check. Okay. Now the sheet feeder is set to go. We need to select the run button. And now we're ready to fill the, fill the feeder. To fill the feeder, we simply open up the compartment. Press both green buttons to engage the side lane. Now that we've put our paper in the uh, and the feeder, we are going to set up the booklet maker. As easy as the sheet feeder is to set up, the booklet maker is as well. We're going to start off with the icons on the bottom here, starting with our paper size. We're doing an 8.5-11, and for more accuracy, the booklet maker measures out in millimeters. So we have this selected at 214 millimeters for the 8.5 side, and 280 millimeters for the 11 inch side. These can be adjusted by input here, as well, you can micro adjust with a plus minus. Once we have our sheet size set, we close out the icon. Next, we need to set the thickness. The Boca Maker will automatically adjust stick, stitch length according to the caliper of the application. So with the caliper given to you from the factory, you will measure the thickness. And this application being 25 sheets works out to 2.5 millimeters. So we can select this, we can plus minus, and we can also input through the calculator here. Next we'll go to stitches. You're able to do up to six stitches in one pass with this machine. For this application we're going to do two. We'll sell, tell it we're doing two. You can also adjust your stitch position if needed. We'll close that out. Next we'll go to our form. This allows you to adjust how much squareness is on your spine. Depending on your paper weights you can adjust this according to your application. So we'll leave this for now. Then finally it'll automatically set your trim but you can adjust your trim to whatever your application needs may be. Now that we have all, all these icons um, set up, we're ready to run our first book.
now that we've completed our application on 8511 uh, using a self cover, we're going to switch over to an 1117 job, but we're going to utilize both feed bins. So now we're going to quickly set that up. For the quick changeover, we're at our interface here where we're telling our, our sheet sizes. We've switched over to an 1117, as you saw earlier, it's the same process, just putting in the different dimensions and putting in our paperweights. Now what we need to do is we need to tell what the top drawer is going to be taking. It's an 1117, which we've input here already. It, the computer has yet to have it selected that we're going to be utilizing that, so we're going to go to the uh, interface here where we're going to add the high pile, which we already have activated, and then the drawer. We're going to tell it how many sheets we're going to pull it per set, which is one. You can pull multiples if need be, so if you do want to have a short run job, you can use this small uh, bin for doing that rather than the high pile feeder is an extra option there. Uh, now that we have it selected, we are ready to go. We can go over to the booklet maker and go through the step process that we already did with the eight and a half eleven, and run our job. We've already set up the booklet maker using the same uh, uh, step process that we showed earlier on our eight and a half eleven. So what we've done here, now we've done our interface, we've actually already loaded our high capacity feeder, and the only thing different you haven't seen before is we're gonna load our drawer. So coming in here, we have side guides, we drop in our cover stock, close up the side guides, move the back stop, close the drawer, and now we're ready to run our book. Now that we've run our two applications, you've seen how easy it is to run this system. The PowerSquare is innovative and intuitive, and if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact your sales rep at Sydney Stone. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.